Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here with another game of Vintage. This is going to be on the Untap Open League, so on untap.in. If you haven't checked it out, it's a free way to play Magic the Gathering. And this is Infect. This is Blazing Infect. T1 Glistener Elf playing Infect, yeah, but you know, just no Glistener Elves. And there's a reason for that. That's because Glistener Elf loses to Mental Misstep. Mental Misstep is a card. You'll see in just a minute, it, it can be a 4 of pretty easily. Now, so the creatures are two blighted agents, two play or four blighted agents, two plague stingers, four progenitus. What? Yeah, wait, wait, and a blightsteel colossus. So it has infect, but that's not really what makes it an infect deck. What does though is there's a handy little card called Blazing Shoal. If you don't know what this does, you'll see X is in two places on here: the CMC and plus X plus O. Instead of actually paying the mana and having a really bad pump spell. I can instead remove a red card from my hand, CMC X, uh, rather than pay the mana cost. Well, hey, look, we have <laughs> we have a 10 mana red card right here. We have Progenitus, so pitch Progenitus to Blazing Shoal, and you get an 11-1 Blighted Agent. I hear that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good in this game. Uh, however, you also do have a Blasphemous Act as a 9 mana way. Uh, that's plus 9, plus 0, it's still lethal. Why Blasphemous Act? Well, it does work against Pyromancer, it does work against Monastery Mentor, but importantly, it's something that we can tutor up with Mystical Tutor to activate Blazing Shoal. You also have Vampiric Tutor to get whichever part you need. You have uh, Demonic Tutor, which is it speaks for itself. You have Demonic Consultation. This is handy. Four Blighted Agents, four Blazing Shoal, four Progenitus. Pick whichever piece you don't have and go and find it. It's very unlikely you won't find something here. Now, uh, that's going to be a little fun to play in, uh, in Untap. I'm going to have to go through quite a lot to get that to work. Um, let's see. Let's see. So your usual Moxin package, I'm actually running all of them, so we can get turn one Blighted Agent and Plague Stinger readily. Backup plans in the deck. You'll notice that there is a Show and Tell, a single copy of Show and Tell. I can get that with Mystical Tutor, and if I happen to have a Progenitus or a Blightsteel Colossus stranded in my hand, this gives me a way to use them. There are also some decks where I can't win off of the Blazing Plan, or they have done something to keep me from winning off the Blazing Plan, and Show and Tell gives me a way out. Additionally, we also have Tinker. <laughs> now, if I can sack one of my Moxen or an Ink Moth Nexus, I've done that before, uh, to go and get Blightsteel Colossus, that's another way to win. You have Infect, buddy. You do indeed have Infect. So this is an Infect deck on Infect on Infect. Uh, in case I'm dealing with a lot of counter spells, I would like good old where'd you go? Ink Moth Nexus as an uncounterable ink, uh, Infect creature. And that potentially gives me another Force of Will to fight over Blazing Shoal instead of having to use it to fight over a creature. Overall, I have very much liked the deck. Uh, it has treated me well. And this is what I'm up against. I'm up against Landstill. This is a really... This is a horrible match. Okay. Right off the bat, we're not off to a great start. This is Lavinia Azorius Renegade. Uh, each opponent can't cast non-creature spells, CMC greater than the number of lands they control. So Blazing Shoal will never get cast if this is actually a thing. If, if, it will never get soft cast. It will never actually get cast with progenitus. It's just not possible. Uh, if Lavinia comes down on the first turn, which thanks to Moxen and Black Lotus is possible, I can't even play my Moxen or Black Lotus. Lavinia is really good. Additionally, whenever they cast a spell, oh, that's the second part. I'm sorry, that's the I got ahead of myself. Uh, if an opponent cast a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter it. So no Moxen, no Force of Will. You have to hard cast your mental missteps. Etc. You get the idea. This is this is a fun card to deal with. Just on its own, we're off to a great start. But wait, it gets worse. You have uh, Swords to Plowshares as a three of, and that's fun. That's great. <laughs> that's not what I want to see at all. If they have Swords to Plowshares, I need to have a counter spell to protect my creature, and they have Mental Misstep. Now, normally this is not a great card against me because so much of what I'm trying to do is not CMC one. That's intentional. That's again why I'm not playing Glistener Elf. Uh, but Mental Misstep is a card in that. Uh, I have two Mental Missteps, they have four. They're probably going to win that. Um, next we have Hercules Recall. You know, fine, works on Ink Moth Nexus. Um, 
Let's see, Supreme Verdict if I get really slow. I'm not too worried though. Blight Steel's indestructible, Ink Moth, you know, is a land folk, etc. Uh, Forcible Dig Through Time Treasure Cruise. Um, slow Moxin Package, thankfully. Just two, of course, and those are the only two that work on Lavinia, so that makes sense. Standstill is, is unique. Um, I actually can beat Standstill if I already have an established board. If I can't combo them, I'm gonna have to do it slowly with unblockable slash flying infect creatures. And Ink, Ink Moth can be played through Standstill, so it's not the end of the world, but it's not great. You'll see main board Stony Silence, because it's white, they don't run Null Rod, they're in Stony Silence. And uh, this is, this hates on my Moxen. It doesn't hate on Ink Moth Nexus because it's a land and then it's activated into an artifact. Uh, but it won't be able to tap for mana when it's, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, that could matter for Tanker, but probably not. Uh, Stony Silence is not fun to deal with, though. I am not worried about Jace. Jace is a little slow. If Jace resolves, I've already lost, uh, is usually how that works. Uh, Snapcaster Mage on the Swords. So this is, this is not a great deck. I'm not looking for, this is a great deck against me. I'm not looking forward to losing 2-0 in just a moment. And there I am. All right, sorry for making you wait, bud. I asked if uh, Fun Phoenix would make the game for me. You may recognize Fun Phoenix from destroying me in my first game of Untap on the UI at all. Yo. Let's see, add our deck. Vintage Blazing Infect. Oh, I get to go first, neat. Draw multiple, yeah, let's draw our seven, see what we have, what we're working with. Do -do -do. Yes, and by the way, the, the camera is now over here, so that when I lean forward to read, it doesn't get in the way. It does not get in the way. Uh, no. <laughs> it has blazing and pretenditus and blighted agent, but you may notice it's missing. So, oh, wait a minute, it's in here, I think. Hello. Hello. There we go. Mulligan minus one. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> Keep. I guess I was supposed to wait. Okay, yeah, so technically that was wrong. I was supposed to see if they were keeping before I said keep, but it's okay. Oh, no, 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 they mulled, they mulled, I see. I see. When I checked a moment ago, it was... Alright. My B. My B. Look at top one card. Mental misstep. I can't. I, I don't... I need a way to win, not a way to not lose. And I already have Force of Will in hand, so we're going to put this on the bottom. Hello? Hello? Do I... Huh? Okay? Nani? Why does it not open up the menu? There's supposed to be a menu here, and one of the options is supposed to be to put it on the bottom. Oh my goodness. This is this is this is great. Why? Oh no no it's here. Put on bottom of deck. That's that's so weird. Okay, so I will go first. Mox Ruby, get it out while we can. That's so weird. I'm still learning, slowly but surely. No response. That is a thing. <laughs> you respond to your lands, kind of. Alright. Tap. I'm gonna see if they'll counter the Blighted Agent here. Because if they do, I will be okay. I have an Ink Moth Nexus. I will probably be okay. Um, let's take a look. This is... Alright. Now, I get the privilege of looking at the deck list. Do I see any copies of Wasteland? I see three. Three copies of Wasteland. If I don't do this, though, then the black cards are just dead. I think it's okay. If I force them to use a Wasteland here, then I'll, I, there won't be a Wasteland to deal with Ink Moth Nexus. So I, I'm okay with that, actually. That's okay. It's, it's a little risky, but I, I think we can make it work. 
All right. Let's see if there's a response. Have something. Thinking. Okay, take your time, take your time. Tell me you have Force of Will in hand. Because that's pretty much the one that's going to deal with this. And when we look at the deck, we see in uh, counter spells, Flusterstorm, nope. Mental Misstep, nope. Mana Drain, definitely not yet. Um, force of Will, yeah, so it's just Force of Will. So there's a Force of Will. And then I will pass the turn. I'm going to hold up my own force for Lavinia. They'll force back because that's what's going to happen. What is that? Is that a Tundra? Nice Tundra. All right. Let's see what we have. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know what? There's a problem here. Kind of. There's kind of a problem here. Not really. Ah. Okay. They very clear... Okay. It seemed to me that they very clearly signaled Force of Will. If that's true, then this Blazing Shoal Pitch Progenitus is absolutely not going to resolve. Absolutely one trillion percent not going to resolve. Play an Ink Moth. Let's see. Look, looking back through, other things it could be. Flusterstorm will not work here. I will have enough mana. Is there? There's not a spell pierce. Like holy crap! Um, you've got a swords. You have a swords. I, I don't think it's fine to go here. I think I, I lose if I go all in. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm almost 100% sure that I will lose if I go all in. So I'm going to wait till I have another blue card. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. damage. Okay. I may regret this, because they may have Lavinia and Force to protect Lavinia, and... Okay! I could really use another blue card. No, not what I meant to do. Nope, stop that. <laughs> They're stuck. Uh, that's, that's not supposed to happen. How do I get them unstuck? Okay, something about... From play to hand. Oh, okay, that, that works, I guess. I don't know. There, there had to be another way. There's like a... I think I remember there being a group or ungroup option earlier. But, oh well. We, we got it taken care of. Um... Cool. So if it's Swords to Plowshares, this is actually not looking great for the opponent. They, they do need to close the game out, and Standstill is really bad right now. Like, really bad. So, uh... We might actually be able to squeak this one out with the combo in hand. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, I, I suspect that it's possible that... Oh my goodness, not this again. Got there. Agent, end of turn. Oh, okay, okay. Um. 
agents? Uh, yeah, this is this is fine. So what this will do is it will tap me out. Uh, when I when I want to go to attack, I will have to tap out, and that's okay. I have I have force. Um, let's see. No response. Brainstorm's good. Dig, dig, my friend. Look at how many cards that is in hand. That is scary. I know it's about to be six, but that is that is terrifying. That is a lot of cards I do not want to have to deal with. I have the combo in hand. <laughs> what I would do for a Gataxian probe right about now. Um, that's that's game. Well, if they have two counter spells, I'm dead. Or if they have swords and a counter spell, I'm dead. They have mana drain. Mana drain force. Um, okay, let's let's try to figure this one out. Alright, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. We've maybe got it. Maybe. We're gonna try to squeak this one out. Okay. Oh no, I okay. I thought I stuck them together again. How do I point this? Target source. Hey, that one. Fetch! <laughs> okay, where's a stifle when you need it? Oh, by the way, uh, no, 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 not yet. We're getting there. Not yet. Mana drain. Oh, yes! We got there! We got there! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, oh, my goodness! I, I hype over this. As the background gets darker and darker, I apologize for that. Shoutouts to WUOG, shoutouts to the radio station at which I worked. Okay, so, uh, looking at their sideboard, Flusterstorm, I, I can't see that not coming in. Mystical Tutor. Stony Silence. Yeah, Mystical Tutor for Stony Silence. Oh, no, sorry, no, no, that's, that's Enlightened Tutor. Mystical Tutor. For, I guess, anything. Hercules Recall is, is fine in the matchup. There's nothing that outright shuts me out that I can see anyway. Swords. So the other swords is coming in. Containment Priest is bad. They haven't seen Show and Tell yet. So they know that's in the deck because they have my deck list, but they, they haven't seen it. So Containment Priest is a little weird, but it also fights Tinker. So it fights Tinker and Show and Tell without fighting the combo itself. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Disenchant maybe. Some of these cards... Oh! Peacekeeper. If my opponent gets to three mana, I'm in a world of hurt. Okay, so with that knowledge, what can come in? Well, Echoing Truth has to come in, because I have to fight Lavinia. That, that's just period. That's just how that works. And that's it. That's really it. Um... No, no, that that's it. There's not enough artifacts to make Energy Flux or Hercules Recall a thing. Graft Digger's Cage doesn't work here. No, Graft Digger's Cage is not work. So my opponent is going to have way more cards to bring in than I. Leyline doesn't, Ravenous Trap doesn't. By the way, just heads up, of the 28, I think, uh, however many is, decks in the meta right now, you know how many are Graveyard decks? Seven Dredge, three Survival. So, uh, only six cards in the sideboard for Dredge. Okay, so 61, need to take something out. What's a card that does absolutely jack-all in this matchup? That's a very technical magic turn, by the way, jack-all. 
Um. Hmm. Time walk? No, I'm kidding. Let's not take out time walk. Preordained? I need to keep some number of cantrips in. I, I don't want to take that out. I would like not to take that out. Mental misstep, I think I still need for swords to plowshares. Force of will, I still need for... You just saw... Oh, wait, Hercules Recall. That's, that's it. Hercules Recall comes out. Okay. Game two, I'll play. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. So it... it determines randomly who gets to go first, so, uh, that's, I'll just pass to them immediately, and, and it'll work. Um, there's a blight steel. There's an echoing truth. So, let, let's, let's look at this. We have one, two, two lands and a mox. My opponent's going first. We don't have force of will, but we have echoing truth, so we can still get the mox down eventually. Underground gets, or, a uh, Pluted gets underground for Demonic Tutor, and then we have all the pieces we need. If they have Lavinia, then will Demonic Tutor to get Show and Tell for Blightsteel Colossus, and that'll that'll work. Um, so we'll call it Keep. Keep, and then I'll just pass to my opponent. All right. Oh, well that's it. We got it. That means we get our. Uh... Ooh. Where's my? computer beeping so much. You know, probably should play a land first, just to be on the absolute safe side, but eh. Um, so I don't want to cash in my demonic tutor yet. I, I would really like not to if I can, because I'm not sure what my opponent has, so I'm not sure what to get yet. Uh, do I get Blazing Shoal and go for the combo? Do I get Show and Tell to get uh, Blight Still out? I'm not sure yet. So, we're going to go, uh, fetch land first, we're gonna go Mox, Pearl, make sure it's, it resolves. My opponent, thankfully, is very good, or has been good, about hitting no response in response to Moxen, because they are spells. Um, there we go, see, case in point, we're good. I would like to fetch... You know, there is there is a case to be made for doing Demonic Tutor here anyway, though. But I think I'm going to do... I'm, I'm going to get an Underground Sea into Preordain. Uh, if they waste the Underground Sea... Mm, no, no, I have this Echoing Truth. I really want that Echoing Truth to, to stick in case Lavinia comes down. So I am going to get an Island. It means Demonic Tutor isn't a thing for a little while. Um, unfortunately. But I have a preordain to help me dig into more black mana. So maybe that's okay? Like, this this is tricky. This, there's only three wastelands. There are only three wastelands. And if you have another land, you don't lead with wasteland. Well, if they don't have another land aside from wasteland, they don't keep. Um, Alright. Moment of truth. What am I going to do? If I get an Underground Sea and it gets wasted, I'll still have the Mox to activate Ink Moth Nexus. If I play Demonic Tutor, my opponent still won't know what I have. They won't necessarily know that I have Show and Tell. Uh, and then any blue land will get me there. So we, we are going to do Underground Sea. Before I finish doing this, I'm going to cast the Demonic Tutor. I mean, okay, so that's good. That That's why. <laughs> that's why. If that resolves, we're good. Now, <clears throat> I think that they're expecting... I'm really... Pr I'm pretty sure that they're expecting the Blazing Shoal. If they have Lavinia, and I, I, for some reason I have a feeling that they have Lavinia, Hmm, yeah, so we're, we're gonna do show and tell. Where are you? Where's... A? am 
to go to class. Okay. We don't even have to do Blightsteel. We could do Progenitus, but Blightsteel is indestructible. Well, it's fine. They're on one mana. Unless they don't have Black Lotus in hand. They would have played it if they did. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. That was one long turn. I apologize. That that was that took entirely too long. So this is an upkeep fetch. Fair enough. Okay. That made me wonder if they were digging for another land. Stand still. Well, uh, thinking. Okay, so you, you say thinking because you're representing it. Now, they don't know I have Ink Moth Nexus. They have a Mishra's Factory. That is actually the same clock. Uh, there is a tiny problem. Uh, that deals two, and it gets to go first. So actually, they are a little bit ahead. Yeah, they are ahead now. Um, if they get another Mishra's Factory, it gets worse. So obviously I can't respond, so I'm gonna no response it. If I get another Ink Moth Nexus, we're golden, though. Nope. Alas. Hmm. One thing that people don't do frequently enough when they're playing against Standstill is uh, pop the Standstill early. And what I mean is that the longer that you give the player that looks to have more inevitability time to build cards, the better their response is going to be when you pop the standstill. I'm about to put them from 5 cards to 8 in hand. I'm about to give them an Ancestral Recall that costs 2 mana. Um, but the odds of me having another Ink Moth Nexus are not terribly great, and that's my only definite way out of this. My opponent, on the other hand, is running... There's a library, and am I blind? Oh, just three Mistress Factory. I have four Ink Moth Nexus. No, oh, I think this is okay. I, I don't like the I don't like the odds that I'll get another Ink Moth and they won't get another Mistress Factory. Even though they only have three, I don't like the odds there. Because the, the null state, the default state, is that they win. If this just keeps up, they will win. I, I know that you really wanted to see a 10 turn clock. You just had to see that. What is this? What what is that? What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's what I'm putting into play. Oh. Okay. Now I think I have to do progenitus here. I have another progenitus in case a blazing shell comes up or a force of will. And they are probably not going to get to Supreme Verdict mana. This could be a land, and then another land, and then Supreme Verdict, but not super likely. So we will play this face down. Face down pile. Cool. That's, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Play. Mother of God. <laughs> Progenitus. Okay, so Progenitus is pretty good uh, against swords. Wait for Supreme Verdict. It's going to happen. That's that's just my luck. Um. Jeez. Yeah, they're cool. I say they. It's a Hydra. I think of it's multiple. Who cares? Who cares? No one cares. Okay, I should pay more attention. Oh no.
supreme verdict. <laughs> Don't do this to me! Oh, Jace! Alas, <laughs> alas, okay. Uh, my life flashed before my eyes. That was... <laughs> okay. Um... Oh yeah, I, I need to go out of chat for this. No response. Shaken Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, oh, Brainstorm. Okay, good. Brainstorm. I, I agree wholeheartedly. You're digging for verdict. I, I don't think that I put that thought in their head. I think they knew. I think Fun Phoenix knew I have to get Supreme Verdict. So, uh, yeah. And you know what we're going to do? Lose to a Supreme Verdict off the top. <laughs> that, that's how this goes. Um, combat. Rar. What you got? Okay, there we go. Go to main two. Okay, so options here. If I, echoing truth, the Jace the Mind Sculptor, they will not then be able to Jace and Supreme Verdict. This gives them slightly fewer chances. And there's a Flooded Strand. There's a Flooded Strand. So they can go, uh, they already know top cards of the deck, right? Crack the Flooded Strand, then Brainstorm. They get even more chances. I really don't like that at all. So we are going to go Echoing Truth, target Jace the Mind Sculptor. This is odd, but this gives them way more chances to find it than I would like. Okay, going to seven. You know, as soon as I say this is a bad match, this happens. This does not happen. <laughs> this is not usually how this works. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Thinking. Okay. If I spell pierce this Ancestral Recall, obviously they can pay for it. They'll have two mana left. Um... And then they lose. They, there's nothing else. Wait, wait, Supreme Verdict. I'm looking, I'm getting really excited right now. They could use this as a bait for Peacekeeper? No, I can't spell Pierce! No! Okay, I can't spell Pierce, unfortunately. Also, the Ancestral was the top deck. It, it had to be. Uh-oh. Right on time. <laughs> Oops. Right on time, bud. Yeah, Lavinia is pretty cool. She she's pretty okay out here. You're right. <laughs> she's why I was worried about the matchup. That's she's part of why. Um, she resolves. All right, what you got? You don't have mana drain up anymore. Not that it matters. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Pass. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we didn't even do the formality of pass your opponent who passed back to you. Feels pretty nice. Oh no, the turn counter's wrong. No, it's fine. Not gonna lie. Verdict or bust, right? Oh, that's not true. Again, Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper's a card. I'm not letting them know until, until it's done.
Okay. Got got there. Uh oh. Okay. Snapcaster. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this is this is if there's a way, if, if there's a way, this is how. If there's a way, then this is how. Now wait a minute, I, I just had a thought. How does Peacekeeper win the game? You, you can do that. I, um, I'm looking through. Jace the Mind Sculptor, that's how. Peacekeeper wins, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, cool. Which is in the hand. No! It's fine. It happens. It's it's all good. I, I should have been looking at their screen. I wanted to, to look at their deck to see. I know one of those cards is Jace the Mind Sculptor. Cool. Jace is good. Gonna take four. Oh! Got there. Shuffle it into its owner's library. Hey, there we go. Stand still again. Well, there's a, once again, there's a Mishra's factory. Yep, I am going to turn on the light. This is getting kind of dark. Sorry about that all. All right, let's see what we have. Not what I wanted to see. Okay, pop it. <laughs> Looks good. I can't tinker. I can't use show and tell again. There's no, there's no, there are no snapcasters here. Yep, that's good. Might as well get in. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. All around me, Huffam. <laughs> How do I win now? Okay, wait a minute. I can't use Progenitus anymore, because I don't have show and tell. I can't tinker. Game three. I'll play. I, I, I cannot win at this point. Is there anything else? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. We want to draw cards, not look at them. Okay. Emerald, Scalding Tarn, Underground Sea. No, first we go into Blighted Agent. As, no, 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 no. We do Plague Stinger. We know they have no flying creatures anyway. So if I can go turn one Plague Stinger, that holds up a blue card for potential Force of Will off the top. Keep. KP, just keep. This is an easy way to do it. Have my coffee, have my caffeine. All right, how does Emerald look? <laughs> Stop drawing Moxin. Um, yada yada does a. 
<laughs> it's what we do. It's just it's just what we do. Um I can't really get an island here instead, because I would like to cast demonic anyway. So we're gonna go. <laughs> hey, it's what my deck does. It's maybe the one thing my deck does better than yours. And win and win quickly, can do that too. Are you ready for the tech? I don't think you're ready for the tech. The tech is real. Plague Stinger. <laughs> Vintage. Lol. Okay. Pitching Jace. Uh, thinking. Mm. And then we sit here for a bit to build up the bluff. So how are you, YouTube? No, we're not gonna wait that long. <laughs> we're not gonna be. We're not gonna be that guy. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and then we'll pass. Now this is gonna hurt real hard if, as it turns out, they have a wasteland. Wasteland on that underground sea. That's not looking good. That's not looking good at all. That's an island. Okay. You didn't side out your wastelands, surely. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. That's not supposed to be there. Alright, what do you say? What do you say? Gonna counter that one too. All right. Hmm. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Come on. Get out of there. Go out and live your life. Okay. Force of will. Pitching. Time walk. Hello. Okay. And then we'll pass back. I'm not going to use demonic on uh, on upkeep. I'm going to see what my next card is. Oh, they didn't do. Uh, this is, this is looking okay. Time walk? You know what? We'll just cast time walk. Oh, it's just going to be an explore, hopefully. Cool. Next turn. Let me make sure that that's not Phoenix himself. But oh, we're still... Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool. Untap. Draw. Stop! <laughs> Can we not, please? Can we not? If I cast Demonic Consultation here, I can get Ink Moth Nexus into play now. I can't demonic consultation for a show and tell. I mean, I can, but it's likely to. It, it's not terribly likely to work out. It, there's only one of in the deck. Same thing for Tinker, but that's out now. Um, ideally, we do either. We do Ink Moth Nexus. Ink Moth Nexus can't be countered, and. But I can wait on Ink Moth Nexus. I can do that on Instep. This is an instant. I'm gonna caffeinate myself quite a bit here. So I give up the land drop. I'm probably gonna play it on the next turn anyway, though. Yeah, time walk for nothing. Time walk just drew a card. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. 
if we're on the show and tell plan. then mental misstep for swords is not necessarily a thing. Hmm. Oh my goodness. We can let it resolve. No, we can't. If we, if they get a Lavinia down... Do it now! Consultation. That's an instant. Let's see. What you got? Uh, sure. Okay, that's interesting. Um... I think I'm supposed to do Ink Moth Nexus. So Ink Moth Nexus is the slow and steady. If I say show and tell, if I just risk show and tell and happen to get it... <sighs> it could also be Blazing Shoal. I think there's a very strong case for Blazing Shoal because there are more copies of Blazing Shoal There are, there are more creatures left in the deck, counting Ink Moth Nexus, than there are Blazing Shoal. But if there's a Lavinia coming down, Blazing Shoal's dead. Ink Moth Nexus. That's what we're doing. Final answer. Locked in. Alright. So, for those that don't know, this card is dumb. Exile the top six cards of your library. Expel the top three, and then do it again. Is how we're going to do this. Okay, cool. Hmm, bunch of lands. I'm, I'm okay with that. Then, exile cards one at a time until we hit an Ink Moth Nexus. This hurts. Just watching this, it hurts. Oh, that's three forces. Pitch Supreme Verdict. <gasps> Show and Tell is online. Show and Tell is absolutely online. I just realized I shouldn't have conceded last game because I could have drawn into the one of Brainstorm into the one of Tinker, but that's, that's really unlikely. Okay. Resolves. Okay. You have expended a lot of resources. You have expended a lot of resources. Three Force of Will, that's actually kind of beautiful. Three Force of Wills like that. I think I'm looking okay. Oh, and another Ink Moth. Of course. Uh, and then we'll say pass. I do need a clock. I do need an actual clock though. My opponent, I mean, standstill is looking pretty bad in this spot, but if my opponent goes for it, it's okay. What on earth am I getting pinged for on Discord? Let me cut that off for a sec. That's just so many. Alright, that's... Uh, yeah? I couldn't have known. Oof. And all of a sudden, it feels much... It feels much better. <laughs> it feels much better. Okay, um... We're going to go for it. Like, we're going to lose here. We're, we're going to lose if we try it. 
but I think it's okay to try it here. I'm gonna Blazing Shoal pitch Progenitus, I'll still have Progenitus Blight Steel. I'll still have three lands for show and tell. I'll still have game, I'll just be getting rid of stuff out of their hand. That Ancestral Recall hurts a lot. That Ancestral Recall, recall hurts a whole lot. Please don't have it. No effects. Cool. See what you got. You you have something. Just do it. Okay, okay. There we go. Fair enough. Okay, so that's what I was expecting to happen. That's all right. You, we're getting it out of their hand at least. Uh, and if we draw another Blazing Shoal, we just get to do it again. Uh, that only leaves two in the deck, I believe, though. I I'm almost certain I remember seeing one. Yep, there's one exiled. So it's not looking great. It's not the best it could be. Nope, not anymore. Nope, that's done. Blazing Shoal is done. See, all the more reason to go for it there. The longer we wait, the longer they have to get Lavinia to do her thing. That's a, that's odd. One. Do it. Take the one. Wait, did you already take the one? Oh, it just changed. Okay, that, that's after the having taken it. Uh, cool. And then we in turn. You stop being a Deuterino. It's a very technical magic term. Take two. Okay. We can double our clock really quickly. I'm okay with this. Blighted Agent. Is it dead? Oh, it's dead. Snapcaster Swords. And I can't, uh, I can't cast Mental Mist up here against the swords, because Lavinia's out. Uh, it would automatically counter it. See, whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. So, this will just straight up deal with the Mental Mist up. Oh no, it's Ancestral Recall! Good. Okay, definitely not what I had been expecting. But I guess that makes sense. I'm doubling my clock, my opponent just doubled their clock. Okay, cool. So it ends up being, it ends up working out for them. If I can find a show and tell, I'll be in okay shape. There's, finally, there's a wasteland. Took you long enough. That's good. We are rapidly running out of ways to win. Hmm. Alright, we're about to block Snapcaster with Blighted Agent, just to stem the bleeding a little bit. Alright, take two. There's a factory. There you are. I knew you'd show up. Pay your one mana for Gataxium Probe. Yep. Because we don't win otherwise. We have to do something. We are very much behind on board. <laughs> Gross. LOL. 
that's game. That's game. Are you, you're slow rolling, no, not slow rolling Peacekeeper. Um, they have Jace the Mind Sculptor, so they could Peacekeeper whenever they'd like. But it's better to play out with, with combat, because if I force the Jace, then your Peacekeeper can't win until you find another Jace. Or something, something to that effect. It's play with what you have and then use Peacekeeper as the backup plan. Reveal my hand. Good game. Tough matchup. You too. There we go. Gotta fix, have to fix that. All right. Oh, has recorded no winner. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So when you hit leave game, it often just goes as rec you hit record my games and leave. That's not actually what happened. So um, T1 Glistener Elf, Fun Phoenix, Fun Phoenix. It, it doesn't matter. This isn't the one that is cared about in the league, but just nice to put it in correctly. So that's that's the game. That I, I said that was a bad matchup. There's a lot of removal. Lavinia shuts down a lot of my deck. And there's a good bit of counter magic, even though the mental missteps are often dead. You know, there's a lot of there's mana drain, there's fluster storm, there's force of will, um, and then there's sideboard extra fluster storm. You can bring in another swords. If you if you're getting cheeky, you can bring in disenchant. Peacekeeper is a nightmare. Supreme verdict it just as a one of when you're drawing that many cards. Come on, it's gonna happen. I I even echoing truth the Jace, and it still it showed up. So just what can you do? What can you do? If you notice some some big misplays on my part, feel more than free to let me know. Um, I'm sh there were some things I did wrong, but without knowing what the right without knowing what my opponent had, I didn't know what the right choice was, and the reads I made were wrong. That's just how it goes sometimes. All right, so take care, Magic Community. I will see you later. Everybody, shoutouts to Fun Phoenix for beating me again. Oh, you just beat me again, man. All right, bye bye.